Hey, I'm Sloan Morgan Siegel, and these are my top five favorite dog breeds. Number five, Shiba Inu. Just because that dog is a meme, and they're hilarious, and I love Shiba Inu. The only thing is, though, is they're like, they're so smart that they only choose whether to listen to you or not. So you can be like, hey, Sheep, get over here. And they'll be like, nah, I don't care about that. I'm go do Sheep things. Number four, a Shisu. The Shisus are adorable. My friend has one, and she snorts like a pig, probably because she's overweight. But that's okay, because she's beautiful, and you could like carry them anywhere. Like, they're tiny. Like, I'm gonna get a Shisu one day and just like carry them on my shoulder, like a parrot, because I can. I mean, I don't know if he'll like it. I'll probably put him down when he wants, I don't know. Number three, labs. But not like school labs, but like dog labs are amazing. They're super sweet. And I had one for 18 years. His name was Trot. He was super wonderful. And they like talk sometimes. Like they're like, oh, woo, woo, woo. I mean, I guess all dogs do that. But like, who doesn't want to have a nice conversation with your dog over some tea? Number two, I'm gonna have to say Great Dane. They're basically people if people were turned into dogs. And like, I remember the first time my grandpa introduced his Pomeranian to our Great Dane, Samson, and he did not know what to do with it. He thought, oh my gosh, this cotton ball came alive. What do I do? My number one dog has gotta be a pit bull. I was raised with a pit bull named Nikki, who I got when he was a puppy, and he was the most loyal, friendly dog in the world. And he used to bounce when he walked, and he was just the greatest. And pit bulls, they're, they're really good dogs. They get a bad rep a lot, but it's about, you know, it's about how they're raised. If you adopt a pit bull and they came from a bad home or something, then just uh, give them that love and care, and then they'll reciprocate it.